Today we're talking about the new feature of Canva called Magic. I'm going to do about this video in three parts to show you three essential things that you need to know about this new feature in Canva. So let's go. So the first feature I want to explain is the one that's called Edit Erase. As the name says it, it edits and it erases things that you don't want on the picture, okay? So the first thing is let's go to Edit. As you can see, once you click there, there's different options. You can choose the size of your brush, then you have a small part that says what do you want to replace it to and then generate, okay? You can see it right there. So to do the, the editing part, what do you first have to do is choose the brush size, okay, we chose it, and then you see the picture that I chose, which is Rihanna, the hand of Rihanna with a super bowl. You saw it? Okay, great. So I'm gonna purple all over it because the color is purple, so I'm gonna purple all over it to select which is the part that I want to edit. So as you see, it's selected, okay. Once I do that, I'm going to go to the second part with a little box and I say, what do I want to replace it to? In this case, I wanted to try a watermelon. It sounds fun and I wanted to do it. So as you can see right here, I put watermelon. So it's replaced and then it gives you different variations. So it's quite fun to see how it looks and how it happens. Okay, now let's go to the erase part. So right here in the erase, there's a picture that is already done by Canva. It's already included when you choose to try it and it's about a beach. So what I do is that I am trying it out to see how it works. So I'm erasing the surfers, another surfer over here, and it's very, very easy. Now, just so you pay attention, this is the example of Canva, but sometimes when you're using another picture that you want, that you upload, it may take time depending on the complexity of what you want to erase. So that's a feature number one. Let's go to number two. Second feature is called Magic Presentation. I think this one is so valuable because it offers you the opportunity of creating beautiful presentations and not looking through different templates. So right here in this little box, you can write in five words or more, what do you want your presentation to be about. So I wrote here, please create a presentation that offers the value of social media. So we created it and immediately. After you choose one of the examples that they're offering you, you just click create presentation and then you have it. You have 20, 30 different steps of presentation. You can erase the ones that you don't want. You can add the ones that you want. You can change the font, you can change the color. And also the great thing is you can add filters and you can add style that you want the presentation to look and feel specifically. That's what I really enjoy about this. It saves you so much time. As you can see, you have these different pages and these beautiful colors. You can change the color, you can add anything else, but it saves you so much time. So let's go to feature number three. The final one is called Magic Design. This is one of my favorites because you can use it to add on anything that you want for the social media platforms that you're currently using. Example, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever you want. So how does it work? You first select Magic Design, then you're going to do Filter. So you want to add a filter so the design is more specific for you as a creator. So you go to the filters and you can add Simple Elegant, create only for YouTube or create only for Instagram, whatever you want. In my case, I chose only for YouTube and simple and elegant. So now it delivers all the options. So right click here, it delivers the options. And as you can see, it's putting them in certain colors because it's giving me the options. But if I don't like this color or you don't like the color that it's selecting for you, all you gotta do is to design, right? Style design right there. You change it, it has different type of colors, different type of themes, of aesthetics. You can even go deeper and say, I want it to be more business, I want it to be more colorful, I want it to be more aesthetic. So you can go step by step and choose the ones that you want. Then you can change the font and you can go deeper and deeper and deeper until you keep discovering what magic design can do for you. I just want to give you an introduction of what it's capable of doing and what new things are coming for Canva. And as you know, as, it, as time flows, Canva will be improving the AI feature that it has right now. And there's other things that Magic includes, but I just wanted to do part one here of showing you these three things you need to pay attention to, and then do another video where I go deeper into the other features that Magic has. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.